We've all had it happen to us before. A presenter stepping out of frame because you have an unmanned camera or because you're focusing on something else during the production. Well, that should not be a problem, right? How cool would it be if you have an automated setup that follows the presenter no matter where he or she is on the stage? Well, I have you covered, so let's check it out in today's Tech Hondo. Welcome! In this video, I'll give you an impression on the setup I've created that allows me to automatically track what a presenter or talent is doing. As this is an impression video, I'll go over their setup really quickly. However, I do invite you to check out the next live stream where we'll provide a full step-by-step -step breakdown on how everything is connected. The setup is based on a gimbal. A gimbal is a really important piece of equipment for my video productions and helps me with the following use cases. First, it makes the Tacana video B-roll nice and smooth, something I wanted to invest in for you. Second, for my live stream gigs, I wanted to have a roaming camera that is untangled from any cables. Last but not least, of course, the active tracking case in case of a one-person production. I mean, we've all been there before as a one-person band. You're doing so much at once. Camera positioning, switching, audio monitoring, playing videos, starting streams, recording. The setup will help. So let's start talking about it by talking about the four components. The first component is obviously the camera. Any camera with a clean feed HDMI will do. I have chosen for the Sony A6100 because of the first class autofocus and because it can run for hours without overheating. The second is a HoloLand Mars 300. It has two roles. First, it allows for a wireless HDMI connection that is very useful for roaming, but it also passes through the HDMI signal to the heart of the setup. And that is where the DJI Raveneye comes into play. Without the Raveneye, there's no solution. This device pushes the video to the gimbal so that the AI of the gimbal can use it for auto tracking. You can also use the same Raveneye to control it via your phone. And the fourth and last component is of course the gimbal itself. It is the DJI Ronin RS2. However, for this to work, you can also use the RSC2, a compact, less expensive version. So there you have it. This is the full setup. But it is important to note that the Raveneye only works with four DJI models. If you would purchase the Pro Combo version of either the RS2 or RSC2, you should be golden right off the bat. I only needed to add two cables, which I basically already had, so it was really quick and I could really start working with it very, very soon. So let's check how it works. Okay, so here you see me uh, controlling the gimbal via the iPhone app, the Ronin iPhone app. Uh, I can uh, select the virtual joystick. I can move the joystick however I please. I can also uh, just center everything. Here is where I just select my uh, face and you can see that it is tracking me. And this is really where this product shines. Wow, this was the impression video. It is really fast, I know, but I will remind you that next week there will be a live stream where I will go in depth, step by step, to show you how the gimbal is built, how the application is working, how you can perform active tracking. So, if you like this kind of content, go ahead, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can notify it when new content arrives and when I'm going live, of course. That is it for today. See you around. Bye-bye.